we left off last time just getting into this place. Um, oh right, we do not have full hearts right now. Let's... We did, however, get the level 2 sword last time, which is awesome. That is not my jump button. This is not going well so far. I think the green ones stay put, but that doesn't help me very much. Gasha Seed! Alright, so this dungeon is a little special because it's actually two different dungeons, or rather the same dungeon at two points in time. The closest analogy I can get to it is the Spirit Temple in Ocarina- Ow. They go so fast! Oh, that works. Uh, let's get some new tech in here. Alright, so, um... to get these in a specific order, and it's kind of hard to do that bank shot properly from what I'm seeing here. Okay, cool. That is easier than I thought. Sorry for the beeping. Uh... Then this one... That opens up the rest of the room. But before I go too much further here, let's go ahead and grab the dungeon map. Some hearts, please. Oh my god, okay. I see why they put Ember Seeds there, at least, but that's not exactly helpful at this exact second for me. Okay.
Okay, I... Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So, I have the flippers, but that doesn't let me go deep enough into that water. I'm gonna need something to go a little deeper there, which we'll be getting in another version of this dungeon. So you can start to see the pieces fit together here. Got it, I gotta go back to the entrance. There's a fast way to do that. Okay, maybe not that fast. Oh god, the health. It's the worst. Health! Sweet! Okay, that does apply to hearts. That's incredible. So last stream I picked up a ring that gives double items, which I thought was just like a uh, bomb and seed drops, but it's apparently hearts and rupees and everything else. Or at least hearts anyway. I haven't seen rupees to verify yet, but... The fact that it's hearts, though, is incredible, and makes another ring we're gonna get later obsolete. Though we won't get that ring till like, the second game. Alright, that's... Now we go up... Don't have a small key for that, um... Yeah, so we're gonna go this way. Okay, that doesn't work. You do have to set them on fire. I don't like them because they run everywhere and they're faster than you. But the pits help a lot with diverting them, at least. Got me. Small key, sweet. Um, I do want to check if there was anything else over there that I might have missed. No. Oh, that's something I could have done. Um, one thing is, um, scent seeds will lure enemies to their location, which includes them jumping into the pit, so I could have done that there. You know what, let's do that just to show. And save a heart. That's much more efficient. Pretty well. Um, here we go. We're going in here now. Crap.
So Link to the Past had the Cane of Samaria, but it didn't really use it for anything, like maybe some of those puzzles with the rooms that I used the medallions to light them up, that would have helped, and I should have thought of that given how much more familiar I am with this game. God. Okay, so now we clear this out. I don't know why I feel the need to get rid of all of them, but can't hurt. And we do this in the past because we want it to be that way in the present and they won't be so easily broken in the present. Alright. I'm being super lazy here. I guess I can just make a warp here, but... Crap, I screwed that up. I needed to do something else there. You know what? Alright, so we can't actually do anything with that right now, but... So glad that works, even with going through saving and quitting. Because that's immensely helpful for speeding things up. That is not where I needed to go. Alright, can we go in that one? We cannot. We got the second mermaid key there too, so we're good. Alright, we gotta go through this again. I guess you could use a Pegasus seed there to go faster than them, but that's still kind of tricky, I guess, to get your way around. Rewind, because we don't want to go that way yet.
Oh, that's what that is. Okay. So you can do it that way and they eventually stop, or we can just run right through. And stay at full health. Yeah, it looks like that's double rupees, too. That's... wow. To get that one this early is absolutely incredible. Dungeon map, sweet. Now, can I do this? No, I can't. Okay. Can I do this? Gotta approach that from the south, it looks like, or the north or something. Uh, I do have the dungeon map, so that helps a bit. Um... Um, oh, it's one of these. At least we don't have a stupid magic meter, right? Oh, seed shooter, duh. Nice. All right, so do, 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 do. Nice little toggle floor there. Interesting puzzle, I guess.
Um, we can go either of these two ways here. Okay. First, we want to go down this way, I guess. Really? God, what do we need to do here? Red, yellow, then blue. Small key. Make our way through this again. Double spinner there. Okay.
fighting him in that enclosed space is kind of annoying. I'll take it. Got it, so now we want to loop here. He's fast. It, this is acting as a reflexes check instead of a item exam. Okay, let's try something different. That's over. There we go. Okay, so that ironed out. We do this. We grab the mermaid suit. Which lets us swim in deep water, which opens up a whole nother can of worms here.
I actually could could just leave here now, honestly, but let's go get the compass for completion's sake. Hey, Mira, how's it going? How are you doing today? You start uh, East 10 yet? Gotta fight these things again. Yep, okay. Got my little hiding spot there. Where their mo movement is too multi-directional to get in there. That works! Oh nice, that's cool. You enjoying it? I can't see why you wouldn't be, but I hear good things about it. Compass, okay, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I really want to like that Eternite's game, but its combat is just so not good sometimes. So with Mario coming out this week, I'm kind of just saying I'll play that one when I play it. No. Alright, there should be one more treasure chest here of some kind. But it looks like it's in there, so... This guy gotta say, oh, the boss key. Nice. Oh, that's reassuring. Test my luck. Boo. at random. Wow. I don't like that very much. I'm using a guide and it can't help me. Wait. Haha. -ha. This is so rude. Do I just have to get both of them, no matter what? Okay, I apparently just have the worst luck in the world. Wow. Are you seeing this? How does that R an RNG do this to me on 50% this many times in a row? Wow.
What? God, that was absolutely awful. Alright, that's the boss key. There's apparently a treasure chest here. But if you want to get it, you got to deal with all that crap. And it's just rupees, apparently. So... We are done here. God, I love this Pro Controller's D-pad for this so much. Alright, we got a nice ring. One thing with the mermaid suit is, like, you can't hold a button down for directional movement while swimming. You have to press it every single time to do even the slightest motions, because now you can use your items underwater. I'll see what she has, at least. Alright, cool. And we're going back to the past again. So, what we've done here, we did some stuff in the past that cleared the path in the present. We did some stuff in the present to get the mermaid suit and the boss key. And now with these those in hand, we can go back to where we were here and go deeper in the water and explore the rest of this place. No! Wow, they're just home in on me, aren't they? Jesus. There we go. Mad skills on like the 20th time. Had I not done this here yet, huh?
I do not like quiz robes in this game. Probably one of my least favorite enemies. He just keeps firing, so we're not gonna dodge it that way, clearly. Wow! Rapid fire on that is absolute ridiculousness. <sighs> wow! Ropes. There. So annoying. Making our way through there. Easier puzzle with that here. Alright, so we don't have a key for that yet, but we can go down here. And there should be something in here, maybe? Oh god. Uh, we can only use buttons on... Hey. Wow. Okay. Wow, I hate swimming. Can't do that. Whatever, just brute force it. That is just rupees. That hurt a lot. Okay, that was unpleasant. I was not a fan of that. And there's apparently something over this way? Alright, so we want one of these diamonds on everything, which is going to mean switch hooking.
should get a small key here, I think. Or I can do that and complete. Oh, uh, it doesn't at least cancel the chest being there. Yeah, small key, okay. Do a good job indicating where you can go back up because they put tiles there and tell you. I feel that's a nice touch that Capcom put in this game. Okay, we need another key there. Okay. to do stuff. Um, I've been kind of winging it and not reading the guide much because it's fairly apparent with these smaller dungeons and limited pathways like where you need to go, especially since we've been in this dungeon for a bit now. But, oh, I must have missed a key when I was here earlier with, like, some place maybe in the water that you have to dive down into. I'm gonna guess. God, why? Bingo. sword beams. Uh, boomerang. Can we do that down here? No, we can't. Okay. That's lame. Treasure. <laughs> 
quick way back to the entrance. With that key in hand. Should have done that earlier when I was over that way, but... Nice thing about these dungeons being relatively simple is I don't- I haven't actually been following the guide that much. I've had to go through this room more times. Oh god, I didn't have to go through that room at all. Derp. I did need to kill that bloody thing. And do this thing again. With all my resetting to get back to the entrance faster. That is one disadvantage of my way of doing things. Oh god. And... Wow, I didn't have the sword on. Jesus Christ, really? <sighs> okay, finally, we're through there. There we go. Take note, Majora's Mask, this is how to do a partially underwater boss fight, right? We are taking quite a few hits, which I don't like much, but...
god, I'm bad at this. Okay. Gonna play a lot more conservatively. not go down. There we go. Got him. Alright, that's the end of Dungeon 6. That's a bit of a doozy, but... out of eight dungeons done. Alright, so one thing of note is that we did get a new ring to appraise, so I'm gonna go check that out.
gonna go back to the ring shop in the present, and then I need to go back to the past to... I guess this is kind of inefficient here, but whatever. Throwing distance up, I guess that's interesting, but meh. Not really. Alright, back to the past. Ah, uh, yes. I swear this song sounds straight out of Pokemon. Alright, so we, what we need to do is get these three stones to move. And we're gonna be doing some solid stealth gameplay. That is extremely difficult to do. Okay, now we're getting kicked out. Wanna bet, buddy? Also, we have a fast travel point in here now, so that's cool. Really, you guys did a really good job guarding that secret switch. Alright, one more. Oh crap. Whoops. I'm lazy. There we go. Okay. Minor mishap. I don't know why this castle has this elaborate system for people to break in, but... Especially since it requires... This underwater passage that you need. Oh god, this. Oh, the swimming is never the best thing about this game.
Yoink. So... Nice. I'm good with that.
Alright, so... So we got the level 2 shield, which is... We never use our shield, honestly, so... Not that big of a deal. Southwest is basically the last major area we haven't gone to yet. And with the underwater map too, we've got a lot to a new area to explore basically. Since there's underwater and on land for both present and past, you do the math there. from here, honestly. As long as we avoid the That is not where I wanted to end up. One space to the right.
only assume it's there. Nope, okay. Most of the stuff in this old old guidebook is good, but uh, not this. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I guess we just want to be like here. Yeah, we're on the right island. Never mind, the map is fine there. I just wasn't looking at the right one. And there are four maps for the present past. We want to be underwater, okay. Not a lot there, okay. Bingo. Kelsey tree, beautiful. Give us easy access back to that place. So we can't do anything with that yet. That's we're gonna want the level two power, power bracelet for that. Oh hey, I know it. I remember this place. That's a much overdue payoff.
Southeast, southwest corner of the world. Alright, so we need to buy a potion here, which I wish we had gotten some other way, but... Got a ring there, but whatever. my tree.
some of that potion cost covered and we don't have too much to buy honestly so Exactly. Um, okay, I see. That would have helped. Ow. actually need to go there, but yeah. And now we hurt ourselves in the process. But we know it's there at least. Open this door. Hope nobody locks this library again for 500 years.
Maybe I'll come back in 500 years. You ever thought about that, buddy? In front of each statue, okay, that's what it is. Okay, we can go right over those, so... Do this. Sweet. That's what I get for not paying attention. Thank <laughs> you. 
So if there's one thing I don't like about the Switch Hook with those specific enemies, they were kind of yanked out of another Zelda game where you use the hook shot to draw those faces off of them. Except with the Switch Hook, you've got a whole other thing with switching places, and it usually switches you to right on top of them. So rude. And I screwed myself completely. Um, okay. Alright, so this is the very fun mechanic in all Zelda games, changing the water level of the dungeon. So those particular sparks are really interesting because they give you a fairy. Drop down. And now we want to use this. Oh god, now I see it. It's just a ring, kind of whatever -y, but... Got it. We want east. Do we actually need the King Smarya here?
Ah, uh, okay, there was another way you could do that with the switch hook, but the case where using the cane of Samaria is just better. back through this room at some point. Alright, so that put us through to... Yep, and then we go up the stairs, and we're on 3F again, and... Okay. that yet. God, what did I just do to myself? Alright, I want point 
17. Why? Okay, this is the guy being a little weird here. Okay, we won G. Okay, now we fight a giant fish. Wants us to use the seed shooter here, but like why? Honestly, much easier to do it that way. And I don't have a key for that yet, so I missed something. Ah, okay, I see what I missed. Ah, okay, yeah. Should be a key, I think. Yep. Ah, 
Now with our key in hand... So the long shot except the switch hook. left in this place. Actually, we can not do any of that and just... God, I love the rewind functionality. Get back there. Eleven. Okay, I see what we need. Point 20, this map is on multiple pages because of all the floors, so... Split. Oh god, okay, that's what it wanted me to do. I just wanted me to get the thing out of the way. Ow. that earlier. Like, why? What am I doing with my life? I was in here and didn't grab that.
Got it. That's the next thing we're going to do after we change the water level again, is what's happening. Haha. -ha. We obviously can't do that from there. Okay, it said to repeat steps 5 through 8, so... Uh, where am I going? Okay, now there's no more water. That's what we want. Okay, now we've got the upgraded switch hook, and we have the water at the right level, so...
That's a small key. We need a few more of those, I think. From there we want to go up to the north. But first let's get these guys out of our way. That's the right one, yeah, okay. So from point 13, we took staircase E. Ah, okay, so we wanna, yeah. I see it now. Not what I want yet. Oh my god, why do I not have my boomerang on right now? Got it, so okay. I do want to do that right now. In fact. So we're going to be coming back to this spot later with a whole bunch of keys. But for now, we just go through here. And raise the water level. Now that we can do that. Back this way. I hate those freaking sparks. Spark had the absolute worst placement for me possible, honestly. Possibly, honestly. Did I need to hit both of those switches? Ah, 
Ah. Uh, okay, that's interesting that they put it that far away. But, um... Okay, I need to hit that other switch too, apparently. Oh my god! Like, can I... seriously? Hit both switches? Okay, it's both switches to raise the water level all the way up. That makes sense. Now the platforms are up here, so we can do this. That is not what I wanted to do. Can't actually see that very well, so... Small key. Ah, do, 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 do. Next up, we want... Okay, those still hurt you, good to know. Got it, now we can go around to that, I see. I am not amused. Um, I guess we can check out what's over here. Okay, we just go all the way around here. Okay, so that's two small keys right now, right, okay, um... We need three for this last part, so... Miss something maybe up here? God. Yeah, probably on that top floor I missed something. Okay, let's go just rewind this room entirely. Like, like! Why are you like this?
this game. So, okay, uh, that gauntlet upstairs is a gacha seed and the boss key. So there's one more key somewhere else that's not up there with the treasure chest. That's good to know. Um... Where am I? I'm down here, okay. It's a bit of a doozy trying to find where the last key is, I think, but... Got an idea here for where I want to go to try. I'm on one, the first floor here. Okay, I think that's where I want to be, yeah. No, not in the least. How am I here? I can't open that door anymore, so don't want to be there. Hey, miss one key and the world goes nuts. Okay, we're on the second floor now. 
town we want to be. God, this is not helpful to be here at all, is it? Um... on the first floor in the upper right. Are you kidding me? Why do you do this? Okay, can do that. is painful. Like, I'm not gonna lie here. Okay. I somehow didn't... What? I definitely killed everything in this room. Did I somehow not pick up the key? I somehow did not pick up the key. Okay. Now we have three keys. We're here. Get to uh, the third floor.
this way. God, really? Sometimes these collisions are just too much. That's why I'm not as big on older Zelda as I am with unlike the newer paradigm where things have to actually have to touch you. Yeah, this one is not the most pleasant thing, but at least the Switch D-pad is really nice, so. So, actually, this is Jabu Jabu's belly. Mermaid's Cave was the last one where I got the mermaid suit. I struggle to remember the names of these things sometimes, but... I'm almost done. I needed one more key. And I found it. So we went the wrong way. Because regular sensitive direction is absolutely terrible all the time. Alright, here we go. On our way to that boss key. Alrighty. Gotcha seed. Gotcha responsibly, kids. A two. A three. Boss key. And we're back in business. Boss room. Oh god, why? Okay. My gold joy ring is absolutely incredible to have at this point in the game. I will definitely go say that. Alright, we made it to that, and we want to get to... Actually, uh, slightly above there. Thank <laughs> you. 
swim around to where the gold platform used to be. Okay, they do... Okay, I am in the right spot. Now we go around, switch up our weapons a little bit. There we go! fast and I'm facing I'm shooting my stuff the wrong way so let's just start over oh god he's fast Wrong way! Okay. Nope. Alright, that was honestly not very hard. Seven dungeons done. Given there are two heart pieces left that require the random number generator, I don't think I'm gonna get all the hearts in this, but... Oh noes.
Alright, let's grab a few rings and then call it a night on this. That is not actually underwater, okay. It's in the past, okay, that's why. I'm not going to worry too much about these rings. Not entirely clear on where they are, so... There's too much map to crawl. And not enough benefit for any given ring, so... Okay, so we will end up one part short of the theoretical max for a single game, but because I don't feel like waiting out the whole thing with uh, gotcha seeds and also with uh, running into maple regularly. out my list. The 
thing that a lot of speedrunners are going to use. With this kind of thing is the sword damage up, damage taken up kind of approach where if you never hit it never matters that you're taking more damage. Personally, I'm not that, that good at this game to be able to do that, so I'll stick to the double jo to the double all items and rewinding when I run into trouble. But we got some rings. Um gone on long enough, honestly. Can probably just call it there. And then next time when that rolls around, um, I'm not sure when that's gonna be. It might be Friday, honestly. I might still stream even though Mario's coming out that day. But... Uh, last stream... That'll be the final stream of ages, I think, because I'm going to do the final dungeon and then the Black Tower, and that'll be it. And then get started on seasons after that, so... And that'll be fun. So, anyway, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. I will see you in another timeline.